Hi, boys and girls. Guess what? Today we're going to read the story called The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. And we're going to learn something new in this book. Do you know what aphids are? Those are those little bugs that like to be on leaves and they suck the juice out of them. Make little holes in your leaves. And hmm, guess who eats aphids? Yep. Ladybugs, they eat aphids, so they're very good for our plants. Some people buy ladybugs and put them on their plants to keep them safe from the aphids. Did you know that? That was a fun fact. Yes, you learned a fun fact today, that aphids suck juice out of the leaves and make little holes in them, and ladybugs eat the aphids. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's start our story. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw an, a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Do you think there's enough for them to share? I do. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug very sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. And it puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, for, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. Now, boys and girls, I want you to help me read that part, because we're going to read it a lot. It says, oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. So next time you can help me read that. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you, ready? Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew off. Now at eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Are you ready? Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. Did you help me read? At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out its long claws. Oh, ready? Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, do you want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Ooh. Oh, ready? Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew off. At 12 noon, 
it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouse ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Are you ready? Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouse ladybug. And it flew off. Hmm. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouse ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, <laughs> laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouse ladybug, and it flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouse ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Ready? Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouse ladybug, and it flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouse ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the rhino, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouse ladybug, you want to fight? But the whale didn't answer. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouse ladybug, and it flew off. Hmm, the whale didn't answer. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale slippers, Hey, you, you want to fight? Look at the ladybug way out there. Is he really bigger? He's not bigger than a whale, no. But it got no answer, so it flew away. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug a big slap. That's right, let's do it again. He gave him a big slap. Then he flew across the sea and across the land. Six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and very hungry ladybug. Do you see all the aphids and the two ladybugs? The grouchy ladybug is a little tired. He's not so grouchy anymore. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. And that's the end of our grouchy ladybug story, boys and girls. Do you remember who the author is? Eric Carl. He's the author of our story. All right, boys and girls, goodbye now from Teacher Wendy. Have a great day.